Yes, I got this idea from Simo. And honestly, the idea of this sounds great for a few reasons. Think about it. Yu-Gi-Oh! has been out for over 25 years. We have more than 10,000 unique cards. Yet a lot of times, we never really use them. So why not restrict ourselves to the first 10 packs and build a deck and upgrade with new cards along the way? For those who are familiar with each win, whether it be an actual win or a surrender, we will allow ourselves to buy a new pack. And of course, the legacy packs we obtain are fair game as well. We will then use the new cards we obtain from our packs and we'll upgrade our deck to hopefully something more playable as time moves on. How far will we go? Well, only time will tell in this pack Russian series. Uh, we've, we've definitely come a long way. We've definitely, uh, <laughs> we've definitely come a long way. Um, so currently, right now, we're not really doing a whole lot of things differently since the last episode. Again, like the only thing that we really did add was the autonomous action unit, along with the addition of things like Gem Knight Pearl. And yeah, honestly, I'm actually pretty excited for this because it just gives us a bit more options for special summoning and getting out some boss monsters, honestly. Like rank fours are pretty good in the fact that we can like do something, like we can use Jirak and Gurabai and then end with like um, Pearl or something just to not be sitting with like 1700s because that's not gonna do anything, right? To get to silver three, we just need to get one more. That's actually not too bad. Ooh, okay, well, let's go. Opponent's choosing to go first or second. I'm pretty sure we're probably gonna go second. Yeah, kind of figured as much. Normally, it seems like more people prefer to go first, which makes sense if you want to set up the board, but you know, <laughs> you never know. Oh, yo, Leaf Waste is actually really good because we could just have an instant level three on the field that they play anything that goes to the grave. Uh, 15 and 40, interesting. So what archetype are they playing? Salaman Greats. Probably. Yeah, Um. no, there's, there's no way. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're not gonna sit through the entire, and honestly, unfortunately, they don't have a whole lot of things to follow because they could just keep linking into it. Even like with uh, Phantom Fog Blade, they could just link on it up to something else. So I'm like, man, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, <laughs> it's it's fine. Um, I guess I also, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I just did also have the patience either, but I just, for the majority of it, like anytime we come across Salomon Grace, it's just way beyond our deck's capability. We'll try, we'll, hopefully we'll get better with the second match, right? We're going first. Okay, cool. That's what I want to do. Uh, okay, interesting. Ooh, this is actually pretty good. So we got Liutar, which is basically a guaranteed 2k green turtle summoner to be able to like deal with cards too. And of course, Snowplow. Snowplow is actually pretty good. Um, this thing has won me more games alone than I can count just because of how good like its special summoning effect is and then burning for like 200. Really, really good. What we're gonna do is we're going to set uh, our two cards, right? Then I think we could just set the green turtle summoner as well. Cause like if they do try to pop off, we could just use him to destroy the card that they summon or commit to. Though being at a uh, five card extra is kind of interesting. Um, usually seeing zero or 15 is kind of more common, but five? Oh, come on, it's Dark Magician. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep this up, that's fine. Um, so we have this, which allows us to be able to deal with stuff. The fact that them having Eternal Soul is pretty good because we can use this to destroy it. If they establish a board, we can do that, right? Oh, well, this card, somebody could target Dark Magician. That is so dumb. It's so good. Uh, from the Grave. Okay, so this is like their tutor, essentially. So they're going to go for the Magician Souls. Yeah, that kind of makes sense here. Uh, can they activate Eternal Soul? You could set it from your deck. Okay, so yeah, they can't activate it right now, which is fine. Yep, Eternal Soul, that, or Magician Soul, that's fine. So they get special summon this card after they sent one from the Grave, and it's a Dark Magician, which again, makes sense. Yep, the magician's soul is good. Uh, no, we're fine. We're chilling for now. So I think what we'll end up doing is uh, probably just trying to pop the eternal soul when we have the chance. Because, like, again, the fact of the matter with the... They're sending dark renewal. Interesting. And eternal soul. The draw two. Interesting. Okay. 
Um, I'm not a huge fan of that actually, because this thing has to be face up for it to be able to get like the destruction effect. Um, okay, so Magician's Raw, they can add another one. So are they gonna add the Dark mag Magical Circle or are they gonna go for another Eternal Soul? Well, I mean, technically the Dark Magical Circle could um, inevitably get them into another uh, Eternal Soul, so I guess that makes sense. Because, like, if I'm going to use the Paleozoic card, like, I want it to have a really strong impact. <laughs> like a board wipe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they didn't get anything. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I think that's only, uh, you can tribute one spell caster type monster you control. Um, oh, they're ending their turn. Sick. I like that. Uh, you can tribute one monster and add this to your hand. Okay, so it has to be the grave. Uh... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, so we can actually just like kind of like do some stuff here, yeah? Um, so we could always just attack over that and that is fine, I'd imagine. Um, yeah, we don't need to do Super Heavy Samurai right now just because if they actually special summon a Dark Magician, they could just banish it. So I think we actually might use our Paleozoic to deal with the circle, but I'm not 100% sure if that's what I want to do just yet. What we will do though is we will attack over the Magician's Soul. This will be able to at least do 2k. Yeah, do it. <laughs> so good. Uh, and this thing only really does anything if they special or normal summon a Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm not really too concerned about Magician's Salvation right now. The Dark Magician. I'm kind of glad that Dark Magical Circle doesn't also like cover Dark Magician Girl, because that would be kind of ridiculous, but that's good. Yep. This thing is just so dumb. But it's good. Like, you're just getting a card that you need, and then you can just, like, set everything else up. It's, like, really good. Though we still have our Green Turtle Summoner that we can be able to use to destroy a monster. They try to, like... What is it? Like, Dark... Cavalry Knight or something like that. Spell or trap that meant it's so good. Tamias Unimited Dragon. Like, it's really good. <laughs> it's an easy monster you could just drop, but also the fact that it becomes like a polymerization is insane. Quintet. Um. That is not good. I really should have done something differently here. Uh, this face-up cannot be destroyed, nor do you also not destroy by fuck. Okay. Um, it's fine. Uh, we will use zero gravity. Fortunately for us, um, I guess we should also get rid of this too, right? Yeah, yeah we can just do that because this is going to destroy all cards. So we'll get rid of the dark magical circle. He doesn't do anything after summoning, which is kind of good. Um, but how do we get rid of Tamias? Because honestly, that's going to be the bigger problem. Because unfortunately, it's not going to trigger our boy, the Turtle Summoner. Because like what we could have done was uh, we could still summon Super Heavy Blue Brawler. They can't really do anything against that. <sighs> that's annoying. So it can't be destroyed. We could still target it. So honestly, if we can draw, so we can set like the blue brawler, and if we can get into spear holder, we can then actually just make Brionic, and then we can bounce them back. <laughs> Thank God for blue brawler. <laughs> Thank God it's for blue brawler. Tamias is still kind of a problem though, because he could just constantly use that as like a recyclable like fusion card, um, and of course, Dark Magician himself. Yeah. Yeah, you can get some other stuff, too, with it, too. It's good. Um, yeah, Tamias is kind of like the expected one to attack. I guarantee you they're going to attack with the uh, Quintet, too. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I would have done the same thing, too, out of spite. Okay, so that's good. It's a four. We don't really have anything that we can use in our four toolbox to get over it. Fog Blade. Fogblade is actually pretty good because we can use it to negate his protection effect. So that is something. I really wish this was like, um, 
safe zone. Like, that just gives a bit more utility, like, we can use it on different things, but that's still fine. Um, yeah, just uh, go to battle and then pass turn. So I'm at least kind of grateful we were able to do that. But just dealing with um, magic. Oh, come on. Not this, buddy. Uh, take battle. I uh, can uh, send this card from your hand to the GY. Special summon to face up your control. <sighs> That's okay. Like, this is such a... I like this card, but I hate playing against it because, like, it just never stops coming back, right? Interesting. I mean, what they could have done is just actually attack with Magician's Robe, took the damage, and then discard Magic Karibo. And then summon another Dark Magician or Dark Magician girl from the deck. Because that's still technically battle damage. Interesting. Huh. Shocked they didn't go with that play. Wow. Um. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. All right. Um. But the problem is we only have two cards, so we can get rid of this and we can get rid of Tamai's, but they could just fusion stuff again. So, I mean, we're still going to go for it, right? We're still going to have to go for it. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to do anything. So we're going to summon Spear Holder. Make it a tuner. Thank goodness. All right. So now what we are going to do. Yeah, we have to go for the Brionic. Uh, unfortunately, everything else we have, like, it just isn't enough. And I guess if we really wanted to, we could um, fog blade the Brionic on the crackback, maybe. I'm not too sure, honestly. So they can't attack it. Because, like, getting this thing back to the hand isn't going to, like, really amount to much. If that makes sense, right? So, yeah, we'll discard this. Um, yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll set this face down. It's for face up in defense position. It's fine. So bounce this back. I can't believe we had a way to get rid of Quintet. <laughs> I feel so good. Uh, go to combat. Um, -da 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 -da. Oh, it's so good. I guess we should just go for the Karibo play, yeah? Uh, at least getting some more damage while we can. No, Fog Blade is good. And I suppose what we could do also is fog blade the Tamai so they can't use it for anything else. Um, yeah, because I know if they destroy or use it or something. Because I, I think there's some pretty splashable things they could use. Uh, this thing isn't trained as a tuner. Uh, no, 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 it's fine. Okay, so at least we got rid of the quintet. And we stopped their fusion summoning stuff, which is good. So now it's just a matter of seeing how we can kind of follow up with this. Because the moment that we lose Fog Blade, they have Fusion Summoning again. I like that. I like to see that. Let's go. And they can't attack either. So that's good. They can still change positions, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna sit for a bit here, shall we? The roll. Megamorph. That is actually, it would have been good. We can't attack it, unfortunately, but we could always just, um, hmm. We're trying to send him under the card your opponent controls. Uh, maybe if we have more cards, we might have more options, but for now, we're just going to chill. Because, like, what we could do is if I can draw into another monster, we can then use Brio. Uh, I need to read this dude a little bit. Yeah, if we could, if he doesn't summon anything, and we draw a decent strength monster, we could Brio their board and then summon attack for game. Is that enough? Is that enough? I, I don't know, but we're going to bring our buddy out. We just need 1,700 points. Holy shit, let's go! Oh my god, this thing is so good. All right, yo, let's go. All right, so we're going to discard Snowplow, and we're going to discard the uh, this thing as well. 
I can't believe we actually won this game. Not gonna lie, I was actually kind of considering of scooping, but... The heart of the cards, you <laughs> The heart of the cards, alright. And the cool thing, as long as they don't have like another copy of Magic Karibo, we're golden. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Oh man, GG. Sick, alright! <laughs> Um, yo, uh, silver three. The gems mean nothing but glory. Uh, we got us, we got a ticket too. All right, uh, so let's head over really quick and get our master packs. All right, let's get one really good master pack, please. Hopefully something good. We still need like board wipes, honestly. That'd be like super good. Like, give me a dark hole, <laughs> please. Forget you, actually, or a lightning storm. Nightmare Incarnation Adili. Artwork looks pretty sick. Uh, level 9 monsters. Uh, I really don't think this is actually going to be happening, unfortunately. Like, the last effect is pretty good, but it's very situational. Dual Avatar Ascendance. Nope. Way too generic. Um, Dedides. So 3k. Honestly, its second effect is not too bad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have to have it on the board. I thought that was actually its pendulum effect. Scar cannot attack your opponent directly. Cannot be destroyed by cards that target it. Small traps, anyway. Uh, Armageddon is actually pretty solid, actually. Crusaders, selfie. No, we don't have any Crusaders, unfortunately. Double exposure. You target two level six. Oh, it's ciphers. <sighs> too much gener or too much archetype specific stuff, unfortunately. Fluffle octopus, it's adorable. Um, we do have Enjip Sabers in our deck, but it's not enough to like actually go into this. If it was a tuner, maybe, but unfortunately nothing. Conquistador of the Golden Land. Uh oh. So it's a level five. We have level three tuners. Honestly, this isn't bad. Um Honestly, this is a potential inclusion. I'll have to see if we have any, like, um, Synchro 8s. But maybe. Maybe. And then let's go into our Legacy Pack here, Duelist. <laughs> I'm ready for a pack of disappointment, please. <clears throat> Number 74, Master of Blades. This used to be, like, one of the only defining points on why you would probably go into, like, Number Hunters. Uh, it's good, but we don't have a whole lot of 7s, unfortunately. Though the fact that it can negate stuff and destroy a card is also pretty good, too. Foolish Return. Target a card in your opponent's graveyard. Shuffle into the deck. It's not too bad, actually. If you think about it now, it's actually kind of good. Like, if your opponent sends something to the grave for them to banish and get another effect, <laughs> just shove that shit back in their deck. It's not bad, unfortunately. <sighs> Though I don't think we're going to include any of these cards, unfortunately. Like, the Master Pack we got was just full, full of, like, support that we can't really utilize. It's too specific. Ooh, ooh. Yo, it's Gear... Gear... Gear Gia. I haven't seen that. Does anybody play... If anybody plays Gear Gia, let me know in the comment section. I haven't seen this deck since, like... Like, what, 2013, 2012, maybe? We got Plasma, and we got Leaf Place... Uh, police place police. Rosenix is a good opening too, just because it gives us options for like the a monster on board, but of course also the token too, right? Do we fifteen and forty two? Yeah, forty two. Do we just summon the Christronics with the Rose uh, Reptilian Rage? I mean, it gives us a twenty six hundred monster on turn one. Um. Is that what we do? I really don't know what they're playing. So I'd rather not. I'd rather kind of get a bit more intel before I make some decisions like that. Cybers. Um, zero gravity is pretty good unless they get out Rampage. Like the one that destroys back row. Yeah, core, okay. Core is good because it could just search out for another thing. Like just so much consistency, honestly. Yep, core is uh, fine, unfortunately. I can't do anything to core. 
And with Core, they actually searched out Cyberdark. Oh, so they're really playing Cyberdarks. Uh, you know, this could be a possibility. We might actually be able to do something with this. Uh, we have faced a few Cyberdark decks in ranked. Uh, we've actually come across and defeated one, too. So you never know. You never know. Uh, Plasma's going to be pretty good if we can actually get it on board. <laughs> oh, my God. Somebody give me a Droll and lock. No, give me Shared Ride. Somebody just give me a copy of Shared Ride and put it in my hand. Maybe, like, a little good luck banner. You see, that's like the beauty of it. I can edit all this stuff at, if I wanted to, or just cut it. It's great. Okay, so they're gonna go with the Cyber Dark stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you can discard another Machine Cyber Dark monster. That's like their fourth or fifth search. Must be nice. Chimera's good. Uh, Cybernetic Horizon. They're still going. Oh my god. And that's actually really good because they want their cyber stuff in the grave. And some of the cyber stuff have like banish utility too. Yeah, like herds are just good because it allows them to add a cyber dragon from their deck or graveyard. You know, I don't know when we're going to end this, this like series. But the cool thing is, I'm very curious to see what we start with to what we kind of like make our de facto end game board, if that makes sense. Claw is good. Claw is good. Uh, I, we're, we're definitely getting our best buddy. Best buddy is coming out on board easily. There's no mistake in that. So the Christronics, that means we do get access to... So Plasma is more than likely going to be able to drop on board because we play more monsters and spells and traps anyway. So Mathematics is on our side. So, and again, they just have way too many cards in the grave. At most, we're going to have two. Power Bond. That's actually hilarious um, because we do have zero gravity. Because we could just simply use zero gravity and shift everything to defense position. So they're going to be taking some damage here anyway. Which means Christron might actually survive. Cyber End Dragon, are they serious? Oh, we could take it. Oh, Rampage, Rampage, okay. Um, it's still at 42. And Power Bond's boost stays, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna, you bet your sweet Bippy we're gonna respond to this. Yeah, uh, just put a defense position. With any luck, this kind of puts them, like, stopping. Um, because the fact that they can get multiple attacks, I'm assuming that's what they were anticipating on going here. But the fact that we might be able to keep our monster and... So they're sending up to... Are they sending out more? No, they were trying to... They, okay, so they still have to commit to that. That's fine. Okay, so that's good. Oh, my God. Either way, Rosenix is very, very good right now because we could just... Oh, it can't be tributed. The token cannot be tributed. So that's kind of rough, unfortunately. I wish it was could not be tributed for a tribute summon, but who knows if... um Because we could special him... Normal, so yeah, because unless if Christron stays, and that's great, right? But with the token, it's kind of unfortunate. Oh, sick! We're actually keeping our board. Um, but I'm kind of concerned to see what they're actually going to be happening here, too. So, I'm like, burn 21. It's not bad, but it could be better. Penguin! Uh, Penguin is good, actually. Penguin is very, very good. I'm not really too thrilled to see. Yeah, special summon the best buddy. <laughs> special summon my best buddy. Did they search any traps or anything? No, they have not. Okay, so get rid of that. Special. This card is a. Uh, has to be destroyed or special. So for now. Oh my god, this dude the 28! I love it. We love that. Um, is it for original attack? 
Yeah, original attack. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a decent sized plasma. It's not you know gonna be super stacked. But it's gonna be a pretty decent plasma. <clears throat> Should have put him into attack mode. Actually, now that I think about it, that's fine. Um, honestly, just having the control of the plasma is gonna be pretty solid too. If anything. Yeah, like, what we should have done is, like, have everything to attack, potentially try to go over for attack, because Rosenix could attack over it. Um, but, I mean, at least with this way, Plasma isn't, like, a sitting duck. Uh, we'll see if Plasma actually stays, because, honestly, I'm assuming this is going to be, like, uh, that one trap. Nothing. Interesting. All right, um, Plasma. Yoink. Potentially. Gimme. Mystic I'm not even mad. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm not even mad. <laughs> oh, man. It's like those weird things you see. Like, players tech in. Which, I guess it kind of makes sense. It kind of helps, like, mitigate the burn damage you would anticipate from, um, Power Bond. Uh, we'll activate their Reptilian Rage. Hopefully this one stays. Yeah, cool. So, 27 is not too bad. Um... It's a machine type token, so I'm actually not gonna bring it back just yet. My only concern is like if they have um Chimera Fortress Tech Dragon, they could just yoint our token and get a monster on the board. Um they might still be able to do the Cyber Dragon, but you know, it's gonna be banishing all their effects. Um with all the things in their grave and they've already used, hopefully it's enough. But the one-sided skill drain, pretty effective. Pretty effective. Because honestly, a lot of these things rely on monster effects unless they're going for the extra deck. And even then, some of them do require it. Yeah, so Core is going to be special summoning um, a Cyber Dragon. Is it a Cyber Dragon monster? Yeah, Cyber Dragon monster. Um, Nostrister. Negate. So good. Um, but the fact that we can still negate their stuff is good. And this is a reptile. Core again? Um, they're two cyber dragons, unfortunately. Please tell me they do not have, um... They can add a cyber dark. Okay. They're not gonna do it? Interesting. So they have three on board. But what is this? Their back row. I'm kind of confused. Yeah, because it's going to be negated. And I don't think Cyber Dragons can contact these, right? Unless you're doing like Chimera, which we could take. Which would be unfortunate because its original attack is question mark, which defaults to zero. They not realize uh, Plasma is a one sided skill drain? Ooh, a maze. Uh, so this is actually pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> My best buddy comes to play. Yeah, we're going to summon him. He'll be at like, what, three, 32 or something? No, no. I mean, it's very unfortunate that we lose him. The fact he would be at 3k. But the fact that we're getting rid of the back row is also still kind of cool, I guess. All right, so we're gonna set this. Yeah, we'll just set this, that's fine. I'm not gonna use Plasma's effect because honestly getting 400 value is not like that good, honestly. So I'd rather just like get in some damage here. Um, We'll go for, yeah, we'll destroy the Cyber Duck Edge. Um, with Core, they can just banish it and summon something else from the deck, which they don't have any cores right now. So we're kind of good. We're sitting good. Pass turn. And the thing I love about a two, even if they try to like go into something, we can always slip it face down. Uh, no, we're good. Oh, I miss you. Add a cyber dark. Okay. So we're gonna affect opponent's monster. To get <laughs> we already have that. We already have that. But I do like how we do have this. Um, because we could. Oh, it has to be. We can even take it if they make something. We can still take it. That's a face down card, which is nice. So I'm assuming a face down monster is just going to default for zero. So yeah, we're going to keep Plasma's like um, bringing ability to ourselves. 
Magician of Dark Illusion. Uh, it's a, it's not bad, honestly. We could bring back, or we could bring out the token here. It's zero, unfortunately, so never mind. Um, no, we just got to keep going, unfortunately. Uh, we'll probably defeat this. Yeah, yeah, because there's like there's really nothing that this thing will additionally has. So I think we're good just to destroy the Nochester. Um, core is gonna be the one I want to default to last. Because I don't want them to like get more stuff in the deck, you know what I mean? Pastoon. Just had to double check if we were recording. Anybody else have that feeling where they're just like not recording, so you have to check OBS and you're good? Cyberneck Horizon. Um, so it's another... Okay, so they're adding a Cyber Monster. And then it's a Fusion. Okay. Um, so I'm really glad we have a Maze Attraction Horror right now. So they're probably going to get something to search for Fusions, I'd imagine, right? To, like, make something to get over Plasma. So, because I know there's, like, something that can search in Power Bond, right? Like, one of the Cyberdark. Oh, is that that? Is that the one? You can discard this card. Yeah, add a Cyberdark monster from your deck to your hand. Okay. You can also... <laughs> you can also equip it and then add a, uh, and draw a card. Cyberdark Dragon doesn't really do much. Uh, you can send one... You can add a Cyber Dragon from your deck or GY to the hand. Okay. That is fine. We got this, Rescue Rabbit. We got this. So they're bringing back Hertz. Kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, Hertz does have some pretty cool effects when it gets sent to the graveyard. They can just add more. Um, technically, can Hertz search itself? No, do your thing, dude. Uh, it's Waltz and a Dragon. Oh, one other. I mean, they could search a different copy. So I guess they can kind of like just keep looping. Which is fine. Not really. It is what it is. So Chimera, this... Yeah, this is the Power Bond, dude. Okay. Um, That's probably what their end goal is. Okay. This card is sent to the graveyard. You could send... Uh, You could send... Uh, You could send one cyber deck from here. Okay, so... Honestly, at this rate, we might just win with deck out. The dude is at 16. Megamorph. Ah, oh, that's actually pretty good, honestly. Um, because not only is Megamorph going to be good, like, when we get into lower life points, but it's also just good if our opponent's, like, in the lead like that. So, it would not make sense if they had put down a Chimera. So, this is Hertz. Hertz goes to the grave. They get to add another Cyber uh, Dragon Monster. So they're going to be able to search out a different copy of Hertz. They can go for Nochester. Um, it's fine, honestly. If it is Hertz, they can just get a different copy back. That's not a big deal to us. Yeah, figured as much. Um, honestly, they're probably just waiting until they get access to a way of using Power Bond. And then I'm okay with that because Plasma's going to negate whatever they summon. And then we can use the Maze Attraction Horror to Book of Moon it. And then on the Crackback, we could just take their monster. And then we could probably start moving in for damage because then we could summon a Maze Attra uh, Magician of Dark Illusion. And then we, we may be okay. Because I think right now they're just trying to draw into a power spell or get a search for it. I don't want to do that just yet. Because honestly, the token isn't going to do much to us right now anyway. Why do you have to... <laughs> Why do you have to call by the grave this either? I miss my best buddy. Believe it or not, I actually want them to get... Interesting. So why had the normal summon... Do they draw in Power Bond? You can do the hand, right? <laughs> That's fine. Do your thing, dude. So they have Chimera in their hand right now. Oh my god, this is beautiful. 
This is fine. Cyber Eternity Dragon. Uh, if you have a machine, thank God it's negated. Also cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Um, Yeah, it's negated, so we're good. So, yep. Book of Moon this. Birds will be able to get him back another Cyber Dragon. They're going to be taking 23 already. And then we could summon the Magician of Dark Illusion since we're resolving a trap too. Uh, yes, activate the effect of that. And then we're going to chain this. They already normal summon herds, which is fantastic. So we actually... We just need to draw into a monster, and then we have game. Because we could just book... We could use Plasma to take this, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. We don't even need to draw a monster. I forgot about Power Bond. I forgot about Power Bond. Oh, <laughs> with the Leotar, too. That's actually fantastic. Uh, so, yeah. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> it just really shows, like, the deck is... It's making progress. Like, not all of our wins are just coming from, like, uh, auto scoops. Some of the Leotar. Plasma, you earned this, buddy. You earned this. <laughs> Oh, man. We didn't take a single light point of damage. So, uh, Dark Magicians and uh, Cyber Darks. Behold your <laughs> downfall. All right. All right. Uh, let's go get another pack here, shall we? All right. Uh, excuse me. Give me your finest master pack, please. It's probably going to be shit, but who knows. Silver Bullocks, Super Express Bullet Train. Cannot declare an attack. Oh, that's brutal. Uh, ooh, special summon from her hand. If we get more Earth Machines, I like it. Ooh, man, this is actually pretty good. Um, during the end phase, it like basically allows us to recur something else. Uh, potential, potential. Neo Spatian Air Hummingbird. I like it. Me ooh, yo. Memory loss is good. This is actually a pretty good card. So it's kind of like breakthrough skill. When an effect of um, an effect attack position monster you control is activated, negate the effect, and if you do, change the defense position. Memory loss is good. Like very underrated common in Lore of the Technion Galaxy. Ancient Gear Factory. Not gonna happen. Yeah, not gonna happen. Malefic parallel gear. Unfortunately, we don't have malefics. Um, so that is what it is. Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon. Oh, uh, we don't have any Galaxy Eyes, unfortunately. Battle in Box of Cheat Commissioner. I'm not sure why we did like a Christopher Walklin sort of thing. The Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Uh, I feel like we have to throw it into the extra deck <laughs> just for the sake of it. So we're going to do that here. Um, But Memory Loss brings back good memories that I have yet to lose. All right, time to get my pat. I can't say disappointment. We got to be optimistic, right? Yeah. Handcuffs dragon. This card. Uh, this. Been attacking. Huh. Oh, it's a level five. If this was four, I would have been very hyped to put it in. But five, I can't do it. Oh my god, these things look menacing. <laughs> Uh, okay, does piercing 1600 fish? That's great. Um, if we played like an aqua water theme deck, it could definitely be useful just for the level manipulation alone. Speaking of water aqua monsters, hell yeah. Turtle Tiger, a turtle in case of protective shell that attacks with razor sharp things. Uh, perform a pal coin dragon. Yo, this this dragon must be making bank. Once per turn, uh, let's see, once per turn, uh, <sighs> Mm, not really gonna happen. We don't have a lot of dragons from the extra deck, unfortunately. That's a problem. Mm, this actually could be pretty good to think about it because, like, its stats are pretty decent and also protects our other dragons from being destroyed by card effects. Um, honestly, that's low key kind of decent. Um, we're gonna take a look. We're gonna add the memory loss for sure before I forget. 
Um, and then we'll do like, we'll do a few more games here. All right, and that's the end of the deck edit. Uh, man of my word, we added the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. It's not that ultimate. <laughs> And we also did decide to add the memory loss. Um, uh, again, I think it's a pretty underrated common. Um, in this case, rare. But like pretty much almost all your opponent's effects are going to activate when they're in attack position anyway. So it's pretty consistent that's likely going to pop off. But with that being said, let's jump into game number, I think, four for this episode. Um, we tend to keep these episodes roughly about five games. Unless I like do a bunch of scoops, then we obviously are going to extend it. But you know, for now, let's see what we can do. I'm having a blast, honestly. This has been one of the more funner things I've done with Yugi in a long time. It, it's been a blast. Thank you again, Simo, for this awesome idea. Even if we did... It's basically Master Duel Masochist, but I gave myself extra packs because I didn't understand the assignment. 100%. We opened five. Or we opened ten packs instead of five. That was my mistake. Uh, memory loss is good. We have Exosisters. Oh god. Um I think we all know where this is going, so let's just get to the end. The matchup. Because like they can banish our stuff. And we just can't really compete we can't keep up with the pacing at all. Especially like how they're starting up now. There's no way. <laughs> I kinda find it funny that as soon as I mention like uh Yeah, like we're gonna we're gonna do everything that we can and uh, make sure we don't actually scoop the games. But, you know, uh, out of the sake of time, um, and also not to like try to go like get these way too long, um, I I know <laughs> when we just drop. Ooh, low card extra deck. We also, I think we're going second, thankfully, so we might be able to draw into something. Like, don't get me wrong, Afterburner is good for just destroying a monster they have. This is for negation and protection, but unfortunately, like Spear Holder is pretty rough. To draw into. This is so good. Oh, Felgrand stuff. Interesting. This was uh, for the revamped Rise of the Dragon Lord structure deck, right? The one that had like um, Rise of the the true the the monster reborn for dragons <laughs> that protects it too. Dragon Shrine, really good. I'm assuming we're going to see like a blue eyes or a red eyes, maybe. If they want to capitalize the second effect sending. Oh, what what was that? Samasara dragon. I'm assuming this has like revival mechanics. Uh, it could be used for two. We could banish this card, target it, add it to your hand to me. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Um, Not what I've expected with Samsara, which I believe means like rebirth or something. Sorry, don't knock the mic when you're trying to talk. <laughs> End phase, interesting. So it's a level eight now too. Mirror Sage. Honestly, not bad. So they did that off when this card is destroyed from Postmaster by Valley. You can send them a level seven free deck. You can send a level seven hand to the graveyard. Special summon that monster. Okay, so it kind of like cycles itself out for what it sends. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll actually set the Archfiend's Bear to this bear too. <laughs> kind of like bait them out a little bit. Evoke trust issues. What? They're just ending their turn? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that. Um, just give me any rank or a level three or even tuner for three. Not what I was expecting, but this is good. This is good. Um, I really wish we just had a decent monster where we can normal summon and just like actually do something, right? Um, the longer they have this thing on the field, the less I'm feeling comfortable with because they can like, um, like just manipulate their graveyard, right? But fortunately, not really doing that. They are not doing that. Okay, uh, that's fine. Um, like, it's fine. I just want to draw into a monster that can attack over it. That I can normal summon right now. Man. Man. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. You can actually do the related cards from here. That's insane. I know you can do this in like the deck editing and stuff like that, but the fact you can do it in game, new to me. News to me. They have like six cards in their hand. Are they just trying to get them into the graveyard? Are they just cautious of our back row? Is this a bot? I don't know. Okay, please, just give us a monster. Pretty please. Because <clears throat> unfortunately this thing has zero attack. Uh, it's a monster. You could do this by... I'm going to regret this. We can't even use this. So... We can make it a synchro. We can, can we go for five? Does this deck have five opportunities? I don't think so. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. We can go for rank threes, though, which I'm actually going to do. Like, I want to actually play this game. So we're going to flip some of the Mirror Sage. Can't really do anything with the fact because there's nothing in the grave, but I don't care. Um... We have plenty of things we can... No, no, no. Son of a... Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Um. Actually, I didn't mean to special summon it, but... We can kind of do something with this. When this card shows a body battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can target a level... I mean, they're going to put a level 7 to the grave, right? We could do stuff to that. Hmm. That is interesting. Is this... Uh, you go to the half of the equipped monster's attack. Okay, no, that's fine. So what we'll do... It's going to be wild here, actually. So do Megamorph. <laughs> uh, we'll get we'll get to some damage. The more I'm thinking about this, the more this doesn't make sense. But we're just going to do it anyway. So we're going to crash the Mirror Sage. I mean, we have enough back row, honestly, in our graveyard anyway. I want to do some funky plays here. That's what we're going to do. Put them up to 2k. Uh, yeah, we'll special summon him back. There's no reason not to really doing it. Of course, he's going to use his uh, Dragonite of Creation. Um, we have quite a bit of ways to just deal with it, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm not really too concerned. If anything, I can always use Spear Holder next turn to, like, use Bashing Shield. This thing at, like, you know, 2k already once we use uh, Bashing Shield on it by tributing it. It's fine. We're good. What did they send, anyway, to the graveyard? Phil Grant. Uh, pretty cool. Too bad your monster is not going to be able to stay there, my guy. Uh, we're still in combat. And he can attack twice, so we're going to be able to do quite a bit of damage here for shenanigans sake. Do they have... No, they don't have Honest. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to go... We're going to take... We took 18 to do that, but it's it's fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> So this will put us down to 500, which is, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Uh, go to main two. We have enough stuff to like just have protection, so it's fine. The funny thing is we really only need to, um, we could use Mirror Sage in a very weird way by just making us take more life point damage, get Battle Boss pop. Really? Is this a bot? It might be a bot. Um, yeah, I mean, they're going to discard down. There's no way. Yeah, it's probably a bot, honestly. It, it, it could be a bot. I, I'm just going to roll with it, right? Because honestly, like, why aren't they just doing anything? And honestly, even if they like they were playing, wouldn't they just want to, like, at some point just, like, scoop? Um, what we could do. We could go for the submissible. Quantum. We'll actually just use Spear Holder. Um, it's a very weird game, unfortunately. Like just the fact that we haven't drawn like any um, like decent cards, it's just kind of rough. No, that's good. Um, Thomas Action Unit, not bad. He gains a thousand. Uh, sure. We'll grab Bashing Shield. That's fine. We could peck for a thousand. That's fine with me. 
Uh, graveyard, we have only spear holders. That's fine. I think next turn, regardless, um, because like if they're just gonna discard down, then it's clearly a bot or something like that. Um, we'll just uh, use zero gravity, free up our back row, uh, and then we'll have access to bashing shield. We'll do 15, and then hopefully we actually draw into a monster where we can just deal some damage. Yeah, it's probably a bot. Cause like, um, there's no way they wouldn't be able to have anything they could do. Also considering how much time they're spending on their turns anyway. Like honestly, if I were just chilling, I would just be like, just keep on going to end phase, right? <laughs> Return of the Dragon Lord. Yeah, that's the card I was talking about earlier. This thing was insane. Ooh, Plasma. Unfortunately, you're dead to me, buddy. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, we at least do have back to the front. We can actually no, we can't even set back to the front. That's awful. Um, yeah, that it is what it is. All right. Uh... Oh, it has. Oh, I thought it could only be equipped to a monster that can be normal summoner set. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, you know what? Uh, I don't want to deal with this wasp anymore. Um, just go with this guy. He's fine. Can we actually pop our own back row? Yeah, we can. We could technically pop our own back row. That's actually not terrible. Which I actually might do. Because we could just utilize back to the front, I guess, then, in that manner. As weird as it sounds. Uh, so we'll set that. That's fine. No, there's really no need to doing that. Uh, go to combat. We'll just swing for the 18. It's much better than the 1,000 we were getting earlier. Honestly, let me know in the comment section if you guys just want me to, like, fast forward or like skip these kind of games but then again maybe doing fast forward would be the better option just because like there's very little to no player interaction with this one it's just me uh making very <laughs> sus blades but i mean hey uh win's a win i'm not gonna I'm not going to fight that. I mean, we get more cards in our card pack. Cool. I guess what's actually kind of cool, at some point, we could just see how far, like, how many games we've actually won. I can actually use it as, like, a way to, like, just make sure that the counter we have at the end of every episode is actually accurate. Um, I mean, it's not a whole lot of attack, but it's still something. 800. So it'll put us at 26. No, it's fine. The only other equip I think we could go for... Actually, no, we actually have almost all of our equips. There's not really a whole lot we can do. Um, We just need basically a monster. That's really it. Any monster will do that we can normal summon. Oh, that's hilarious, actually. It's very... Oh, actually, we could just... Yeah, we, we, we got this. We got this. All right, so... Uh, we'll tribute. <laughs> I mean, it's still a normal summon. It's good, right? Tribute summon is a normal summon, yeah. Why am I asking this? Of course it is. Uh, why am I asking about this? Of course it is. All right. Um, just use the bashing shield. Uh, give the dark, ma the magician of dark illusion slash dark magician a big shield and just bash the opponent in. Um, we've had enough of this shenanigans. We've had enough of this. But hey, another pack. Potentially, maybe even two, maybe three. Just go. Honestly, this match took way longer than it had to be just because we got the worst luck. But I guess to be grateful, we got the worst luck at the best possible match, right? Being, you know, one of these kind of games. Silver Tier 2. I'll be able to get the gold in no time. Oh, we also got two Legacy Packs. You know the drill. Let's go into it. We're getting wins against uh, Cyber Dragon, Dark, Chimera stuff. Yeah, we have, we have, we have possibilities. Right? <laughs> anyway. Mm, Bay Rock Dragon. Ooh, it's even shiny. Uh, monsters from my Valor Cardifact. Oh! Yo, that is actually good. This card is not destroyed by opponents to target. What? This dude is fantastic. Am I missing something? This is good. 
This is really good. Holy shit. Um, yeah, he's definitely going in the deck. Bear Rock Dragon, where have you been, my guy? The Fabled Corkator. Yo, this thing is art is sick. Uh, huh? We don't have any Fables, so it's not going to work. Ooh. Uh, target face the monster in the field. That target is... Mm. It's a spell speed. It's a quick play. Potentially. Um, the only problem is that we had that nothing to main monster zone. Red eyes, odd feet of lightning. Yo, we're hitting the red eyes support. Let's go. Unfortunately, it's not that good, but you know, for Gemini support, it's pretty solid. It's just a, technically a board wipe. Uh, unfortunately, new no. photon lizard, orbital highlander. Whoa, 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 wait. I think five or more monsters. He's possible to bring out. Oh, maybe a late game card. Orbital, maybe. It's a dark machine. If it was Earth, then hundred percent possibly. But we don't play mutants, unfortunately. But not bad. Um, that that dragon, bro. I didn't even know that card exists. That's just insane. Like honestly, even really good for probably dinos, actually. Like destroy a babysitter source, stuff like that. Ready for intercepting. <laughs> I think this is Legacy of Darkness. Don't quote me though. Quickie Pond! Most cards are trapped by battle. Well, I mean, it searches insects. That's not too bad. We don't. We only have battle loss, so that's, like, not really good for us. PM Captor. Yo, dude, this dude is jacked. Uh, 518 Pendulum. It cannot be. Oh, it's not terrible. Not bad. And I think this is LOB, but don't quote me. But honestly, overall, really excited with how the games turned out. We actually made quite a bit of progress. We got through another rank. We got some pretty good stuff for the deck. Uh, speaking of which, let's do a quick deck edit here, shall we? All right, and that's it. I think the only thing that we actually did was actually had the Bear Rock Dragon, honestly. Um, we did take out the Pump Princess. They kind of like the same utility. Like they're both good when you're destroying them. However, with Pump Princess, there was only been like one or two situations where she's actually pretty viable. So having this would just be really good in terms of like having just something to throw on the board. And uh, again, it's just an easy thing to bring out. Honestly, it's pretty good. Um, and we don't have a whole lot of rock stuff besides rock stone, but I mean, you know, he could potentially float him out into it more. Might have to like look into our deck and uh, trunk, see if we have any more stuff that we can add to it later on. We get more of those supports, but overall, I'm pretty content with this. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Until next time.